Okay, in this video, we're gonna show that given a simple linear regression model where we just regress Y on X, and assuming that the variance in the sample of X is different to zero, which means that X does vary in the sample, we're gonna show that the R squared is gonna be equal to zero if and only if beta one hat is equal to zero. Let's just start by taking the formula for the R squared, which we know is just the explained sum of squares divided by the total sum of squares. So for this to be equal to zero, it has to be the case that the explained sum of squares is equal to zero, right? So for this to be equal to zero, we have to have the denominator is zero. So this is gonna be equal to zero if and only if the explained sum of squares is equal to zero. And remember the definition for the explained sum of squares, right? The explained sum of squares is just the sum of squares of our prediction of y minus the average of y. Right? So the explained sum of squares is gonna be equal to zero if and only if all of this is equal to zero. And to do this, let's just replace for what we know y i hat is, you know? So we know that y i hat is just our prediction of y, so it's gonna be beta naught hat plus beta one hat x i, right? And we also know from another property that we proved in a different video that the regression line always passes through the mean, which means that the person who has an average X, we predict they will have an average Y. So this average Y that we have right here can be written as beta naught hat plus beta one hat X bar. So it's just Y bar. So let's just replace these two facts on this equation that we have right here and see what we get. And this is gonna start simplifying a lot. So the explained sum of squares is gonna be equal to zero if and only if we have that the sum from i equals one to n, and let's just plug in for both these things. We have beta naught hat plus beta one hat x i minus y bar. So both these signs are gonna flip, right? It's gonna be minus beta naught hat minus beta one hat x bar is equal to zero. And here we have to square this, right? So notice that we have beta naught hat and beta naught hat here negative, right? So the beta naught hat cancels out with the beta naught hat here. Then we have beta one x i minus beta one x bar. So we can factor out the beta one. So this is gonna be equal to zero if and only if we have that the sum from i equals one to n of big parentheses beta one hat times, here we have x i minus x bar, oops, all square, and all of this equals zero. So now notice that we can distribute the square that we have right here, we can distribute it to each of these terms of the multiplication, right? We can always distribute exponents over the multiplication. So we're gonna have that this is equal to zero. Again, if and only if the sum from i equals one to n of beta one hat squared times x i minus x bar squared is equal to zero. So now notice another thing which we have used extensively and we do in econometrics all the time to prove stuff is that this beta one hat squared is the same number for each term of the summation. Yeah? So we can always pull it out of the summation because again, it's the same number for each term of the summation. So all of this is gonna be equal to zero if and only if beta one hat squared times the sum from i equals one to n of x i minus x bar squared is equal to zero. So now notice a few things. First, in the prompt, we're told that the variance of x in the sample is different to zero, which means that the sum of squares of x is different to zero. So this whole thing right here can't be zero. Therefore, for this equation to be equal to zero, it has to be the case that beta one squared is equal to zero, which means that beta one hat has to be equal to zero. Therefore, it's only gonna be true if beta one hat is equal to zero, which concludes the proof, right? We're gonna have an R squared of zero if and only if 
our estimate for the slope is equal to zero, which makes sense, right? Because if we think about it, the R square is this measure of how good our X is to predict Y. Now, X is gonna be terrible for predicting Y if we find absolutely zero correlation between X and Y, which is captured by, by the beta one hat. And this just concludes the proof.